So running a second cable or new AC line to every pole would be expensive. So instead, we're going to upgrade this pole using the cable we already have, which is Hey Tian, this is Welcome back to Fast Cabling. Imagine this is your university campus. It's 11 p.m. The parking lot is half empty. A few students are walking back to their dorms. Security is staring at a wall of camera feeds, trying to spot problems before they happen. So they don't just need to see what's going on, they need to talk to people out there in real time. This area is under surveillance. So what if a single cable could bring power, vision, and voice to every corner of this campus? But today, I'll show you how to use power over Ethernet to build an outdoor system that does both surveillance and audio alerts. A quick refresher. Power over Ethernet let us send power and data over the same Ethernet cable. That's perfect outdoors, where there are almost no convenient power sockets on poles or in the parking lots. And instead of hiring an electrician to pull AC at every pole, we run one network cable from our PoE injector and then it will inject powers onto the line. And the camera and speakers can pick it up at the far end. So let's meet our campus brain. A 24-port managed PoE switch with gigabit SFP slots. It gives us 24 PoE port for IP cameras, speakers, and other devices. And the four SFP slots give us uplink over fiber for long-distance run between buildings or to remote parking lots. And because it's managed, so we can monitor each port, apply VLANs for security, and even schedule power to devices. And let's start simple. The switch is connected to an NVR to display video, and we're connecting to 100 meters Ethernet cable, sending power and data from our switch directly to the PDZ camera. So there's no extra power break hiding in this pole. Classic PoE camera install. But the security team wants more than video. They want a voice in the field, pre-recorded warning, live announcement, and even two-way audio in some spots. So running a second cable or new AC line to every pole would be expensive. So instead, we're going to upgrade this pole using the cable we already have, which is this 100 meter cable. And we'll need this little box, this is our trick, is a waterproof 1 in 2 out PoE extender. It takes a high power PoE++ input and gives us two PoE outputs, enough for one both cameras and an IP audio from the same cable. Here's how we add the audio without rewiring the campus. Let me take out the neck and the gland for a faster installation. But when you do it, make sure you use a wrench to fasten them tightly. First step, we unplug the 100 meters cable from the PDZ camera. Then we connect to the PoE in port. So we're sending power and data. Then we are going to use two short patch cord. So we can connect to our PDZ camera and our audio. This is our speaker. So now we can see they're getting power and data, but sometimes the power may not be sufficient for both devices. So let's head back to our switch. Now, this switch only supplies 30 watts per port, and if you are adding high power devices, it may not be enough power. That's why we are adding our 95 watts high power PoE++ injector. It supports PoE++ up to 95 watts. We are going to unplug the 100 meters Ethernet cable and plug it into the PoE output port. So we are sending high power to the one into our extender. Then we need another Ethernet cable. 
connecting the data input port. From the injector here to our switch. So we're sending both power and data all the way to our end devices. And lastly, don't forget our speaker. This is our paging controller. We already powered it up. Then we are going to add another Ethernet cable. Connects everything to our main switch. Make sure you tighten everything. So as you can see, we're getting live video feed. I'm going to wave my hand and also a speaker. Testing, testing, testing. one, two, three. Now you may wonder, how does the IP audio system actually work? Think of each speaker as an IP endpoint, just like a camera. You get an IP address from your network. Your audio server can then send live paging, pre-recorded alerts or scheduled announcements to one device, a group of devices, or the whole campus. And because it's PoE powered, you don't need separate amplifiers or power supplies in the field. Just one cable brings network plus power and the audios right on top of standard IP traffic. So now that we have two devices on a pole, that's nice. But what if you want more? Maybe a camera, a speaker, or Wi-Fi access points for students. And that's where an outdoor PoE pass-through switch comes in. Now this little box is like a mini rugged switch that lives on the pole. It powered by one upstream PoE++ cable from our main switch, and then it fans that power and data out to multiple ports. You get an IP67 metal enclosure designed for harsh outdoor conditions. It has one PoE pass-through uplink port and seven gigabit PoE downlink ports. And with a total power budget around 95 watts, and up to 30 watts per port, you can hang servo cameras, speakers, and other PoE devices off a single incoming cable. And it's effectively double your reach to about 200 meters because it acts as an active repeater. So now that we've put the PoE pass-through switch at the edge, now this switch can feed all kinds of devices. We already have our Wi-Fi access point speaker and PDZ camera on it, and it can also connect to smart lighting that reacts to motion or even emergency call boxes. And you still avoid pulling AC power to every single spot, because the only thing you bring from the building is that one high-power PoE plug. Plus, plus. And to make all this work, you do need enough upstream power because pass-through switch are hungry. They can only output what you feed them, which is why our 24-port managed PoE++ plus plus switch is needed. Now it has a large overall 720 watts power budget and 95 watts output per port. Smart management features so we can see exactly how much power each pole is drawing prioritize critical devices, and avoid overloads. Now what about distance? Some parking lots or sports fields might be a kilometer or even more from our control room. Copper Ethernet has 100 meters limit. That's why those SFP slots from our managed switch are so important. We can plug in fiber modules and run fiber links over kilometers. The fiber brings high speed and low loss connectivity to our switch. So that's how you turn a simple PoE camera deployment into a full power vision voice platform for our outdoor campus. Now, if you like more real world PoE builds like this one, campuses, warehouse, parking lots, you can hit subscribe and let me know what scenario you want to see next. Now, thank you very much for joining us and I'll see you in our next video.